Hi everyone, we're Dave and Sue from Candles Off Maine and welcome to the main event. Today we are going to talk about how the candles, how Votivo candles are made and a little bit of history behind the company that now owns Votivo. And if you hear some pitter pattering, that's the rain on our roof. It's raining quite heavily right, right now. Getting our first nor'easter of the season, I think. Yep. All right. So Votivo um, was uh, acquired about three years ago by a company by the name of Grace Management Group. Um, Grace Management Group started many, many years ago by a guy um, by the name of Bob Caldwell. And he and his wife owned a bedding plant business. They made like nursery plants. Right. It was a very, very seasonal business. His wife one day went to some kind of craft fair and there was just one booth that was just bustling with business. She bought one of the products. It was a scented sachet. She brought it home, showed it to her husband. He's like, that's vermiculite. We have tons of it in the bedding business. We're gonna scent it, and they made scented sachets. That's where they started, and they have three. Um, they had three businesses, all fragrance lines: Greenleaf, Willowbrook, and Bridgewater. Um, all oriented around fragrances. Some Bridgewater does a lot of candles. Um, they have a sales staff across the country, and they do all of their own manufacturing. So uh, they were looking for another product to sell, and their sales forces out and about. What else could they offer to the different stores? They, that's when they acquired Votivo about three years ago. Votivo offers a very luxury, high-end brand for them, something that isn't... Um, in their mix. Yeah, it's not, none of their lines kind of overlap. They're no. all very different and distinct. Right. So we spent the day with Bob Caldwell Jr. He gave us a tour of the factory. Very gracious of him. He spent the entire day with us, which is yeah, incredible. Very nice. The Votivo factory was massive. I think it's four buildings total, all, all joined together. 300,000 square feet, yeah. I believe. 300,000 square feet. Enormous. Enormous. You need one of those um, segways to get around. It was huge. Okay, so yesterday we talked all about how the fragrances are made. Now we're going to get into the manufacturing. So first we start with the wax, and it's stored in these huge containers out and back behind their warehouses. Each container can hold about 10,000 pounds of wax. Votivo candles are made with at least 90% soy wax. They do use other waxes blended in there to give it some stability and also some rigidity so that it doesn't melt in the heat. They store the wax outside because it's stored at 180 degrees, so they use that um, South Carolina heat to help keep that wax really hot so that it doesn't solidify in the tank and then they can't get it out. Okay, the fragrances that they um, blended, we talked about yesterday or in the previous video, um, they portion those out for each batch and then they also gather the wicks that they need for each fragrance. There's 1,400 different wicks to choose from the world. Um, so when they make a, do a new fragrance, they'll test it with a various uh, a variety of different wicks to find out what wick works best with that fragrance. They use the same wax for each candle because it's easy to, to keep that consistent, but they will adjust the wick and they will make adjustments to the fragrance to get the cleanest burn. They've really cleaned up the wax in the last few years since they acquired it so that Votivo candles really burn beautifully now. Not sooty, very clean, very even, um, and they do a lot of extensive testing on their candles. Uh, Portions of the wax are brought inside and put into these little vats. That's where it's mixed with the fragrance that's been portioned out and the wicks that have been selected for the batch. The glasses for the, um, for the candles are heated to 300 degrees before they're poured. The only thing that isn't done by hand in Votivo is the actual pouring of the wax. That's done by a machine, um, but everything else is hand done. They're very, very handcrafted candles. You can see the first thing that's done after the candles are poured is they center the wick on the bottom of the glass to make sure that that wick goes through the center all the way down. They center it to make sure it's right there in the middle. And then they go, they go over these really high-tech fans. $10 Target fans. Cool off the wax. And then they center the wick on the top to make sure it's in the middle on the top. And they trim it to about, looks like about maybe half inch, quarter inch, half inch. They trim it and then the candles go underneath this kind of a heater, like a toaster kind of a thing. It like gives it that nice smooth sheen on the top, makes them really, really pretty. This guy uh, puts a code on it so they can they could track the candles by batch. So if there's an issue with any one candle, they could track it back to the batch so they know what they need to pull. They make about 2,500 candles a day, but in really small batches, only about 300 candles in a batch to be done. The first thing that we saw in the production part, you know, after you get towards after you get out of pouring the candles, was the seals. All of these seals on the front of the Votivo candles and 
on the tops of the boxes. These are all hand pressed. They've got a little guy in the back of the of the plant, and he hand presses these with his machine. First, he has to thread them with the twine, and then he presses them. Dave got to press his own seal. That's kind of exciting. Um, really, a hard job. It is. It's yeah. a lot of work. I mean, yeah. it's, it's and he a lot does of strength. It for about a thousand a day. He does a thousand a day. So if Votivo makes twenty five hundred candles a day, and he can only press a thousand a day, they've always got more than this one little guy. And he is a little guy. Actually. He's a little guy. <laughs> Pretty small, yeah. but he, he just in the little back corner, press it away. They hand label all of the labels on the box. The first label they do on the candle is the one on the bottom. It not only uh, gives you the name of the fragrance, there is a, um, and some of these I did see a code number on the label, um, but it also hides where the wick is, so you can't see the wick at the bottom of the candle. Um, but all the labels on the candle and on the box are hand applied. They also, um, they hand apply these, they glue it on first, and then they've got this like fancy light gun thing, laser, that that laser fancy bright thing that you can't look at, and, um, and it adheres it to it because it, it used to fall used down to fall all, off the all the time. So they fix that. If you've ever bought a Votivo candle, you'll see that inside the box they're all, um, they're all hand wrapped, hand twisted, um, hand trimmed. So lots of exciting things going on at Motivo. Very impressive tour. We had a wonderful time. Yes, very nice. Uh, really nice people. And, and you've got to think about it. I mean, we're showing you all these things. They showed us everything. They let us photograph everything. We're, they're letting us show you everything. That's really impressive of the candle line to open up their doors like that um, and be so um, forward. Yeah, yeah, and accommodate with all of their knowledge and all of their information. Uh, really spent a lot of time in the lab with Mike and talking about how all the testing that they do. Um, really put a tremendous amount of care and attention and um, uh, work into yeah. everything that they do and to all yeah. the fragrances that they create. And that's our show. Um, thanks again and remember to come see the light at candlesoffmain.com. Thank you. Thank you.